Hi, I'm Aaron, a proud member of the PackBreak company. And today, I'm going to show you how to program and test the new PackBreak PH3 Mark II air intake emergency shutoff valve. PackBreak's PowerHalt 3 Mark II valve is an electronically controlled emergency engine shutdown system, which forces the engine to shut down by blocking an engine's air intake path. It is available in both a manual activation only configuration where an operator or external input is required to activate emergency engine shutdown, or an automatic engine speed sensing model, which adds the ability to automatically force engine shutdown if the engine speed exceeds a user-defined trip speed. With either activation, the valve is electronically returned to an open position after emergency engine shutdown, all while providing feedback to the operator that the valve is held closed via an illuminated toggle switch or panel indicator light, depending on your needs. To trip the valve manually, you simply push and release the toggle switch like this. When the valve is closed, the engine will shut down and the indicator light will become solidly lit. The valve will now remain closed for a minimum of 15 seconds. When in manual reset mode, the valve will only reset itself to the open position once the operator activates the toggle switch again. For PH3 valves with automatic engine speed sensing, you can switch between manual and auto reset mode by accessing the mode selection box and either one, removing the fuse from F2 to select auto reset mode, or two, inserting the fuse into F2 to select manual reset mode. In case you're having trouble with which fuse slot to use, Note that the mounting clip should be oriented upwards at the top. With this done, the F1 slot will be on top and the F2 slot will be on the bottom. Before we begin to program the automatic speed sensing PH3 model, it is important to know your engine's trip speed or the engine's RPM rating. For on-highway vehicles with variable engine speed, Pack Brake recommends setting the speed at 30% above rated engine RPM. For stationary engines with constant operating speed, you can select to have the valve trip at 10, 20, or 30% above rated engine speed. To begin, an unprogrammed controller will display a continuous rapid flash like this. If your valve is to be synchronized with another shutoff system on the same engine, please leave all controllers connected together to ensure the engine shuts down. If your valve is to be synchronized with a shutoff system on a secondary engine, disconnect the secondary controller to prevent accidental shutdown of the secondary engine during programming. Please note you will need to reconnect for operation. We will begin by programming a PH3 for an on-highway vehicle with variable engine speed. Step one is to insert a fuse into F1 on the mode selection box. The indicator light will now exhibit a constant rapid flash interrupted by a single pulse when setting for a single trip speed, or a double pulse if a secondary trip speed is active. We'll discuss setting a secondary trip speed later in the video. Now you can start your engine. Once started, raise to half the desired trip speed and hold constant. Now you will push, pause, and then release the toggle switch to shut down the engine and save your input speed. The indicator light will now become solidly lit. When the light extinguishes, push, pause, and release the switch four times to set your trip speed at double the input speed. One, two, three, four. The light will now flash four times to indicate the programming has been saved correctly. Remove the fuse from F1 on the fuse box and place in the fuse stowaway area and document your trip speed for future reference. Next, we will look at programming your PH3 for stationary engines that operate at a constant speed. Step one is to insert a fuse into F1 on the mode selection box. The indicator light will now exhibit a constant rapid flash interrupted by a single pulse when setting for a single trip speed, or a double pulse if a secondary trip speed is active. 
Start your engine and allow it to run at constant operating speed. Now push, pause, and then release the switch to shut down the engine and save your input speed. The indicator light will become solidly lit. When the light extinguishes, choose your desired overspeed margin to set your trip speed. For operating speed plus 10%, you will push, pause, and then release the switch one time. For your operating speed plus 20%, you will push, pause, and then release your switch two times. For operating speed plus 30%, you will push, pause, and then release the switch three times. The indicator light will now flash the same number of times that the switch was pressed to indicate that the programming has been saved correctly. Remove the fuse from F1 on the mode selection box and store in the stowaway area to exit programming mode. Document trip speed for future reference. After following the trip speed programming procedure, the system must be tested to ensure the trip speed was programmed correctly. Entering test mode causes the system to trip at input speed from the programming procedure. Raising engine speed to actual trip speed is unsafe and unnecessary. Once again, before testing, if your valve is to be synchronized with another shutoff system on the same engine, please leave all controllers connected to ensure the engine shuts down. If your valve is to be synchronized with a shutoff system on a secondary engine, Disconnect the secondary controller to prevent accidental shutdown of the secondary engine during programming. Once again, please note that you will need to reconnect for operation. To begin testing, ensure the fuse is removed from F1 on the mode selection box. Now with your engine off, push the switch to close the valve and hold the switch for five seconds until the indicator light begins flashing rapidly. One, two, three, four, five. Now release the switch to reopen the valve. The light will now exhibit continuous rapid flash interrupted by single pulse when set for a single trip speed or a double pulse if a secondary trip speed is active. Now start your engine. For on highway vehicles, slowly raise your engine speed to input speed as previously recorded. The valve will now close and a red light will illuminate until the valve resets itself to open. In manual reset mode, the light will stay illuminated until the valve is manually reset by pushing the toggle switch. This can only be done after 15 seconds has passed. If the valve did not close when expected, the trip speed may not be correctly programmed. Confirm installation and re-follow the steps earlier in this video. Now we will discuss setting a secondary trip speed. Your PH3 system can force engine shutdown at two different engine speeds. This feature can be used to protect auxiliary equipment powered by a power takeoff system or as an anti-theft mechanism when set at near idle speed. To activate, program, or test a secondary trip speed, you will need to provide 6 to 36 VDC to the pink wire. This can be done via an existing power takeoff system activation device or via a latching switch. Please note, no latching switch is provided with this system. Also note that to prevent accidental shutdown while enabling slash disabling your secondary trip speed, a five second grace period is applied when switching to a lower trip speed to allow for the engine speed to reduce. Engine speed change is applied immediately when switching to a higher trip speed. With the pink wire now attached to power, you can program the secondary trip speed using the same methods discussed earlier in this video. Thank you for watching. Please like and share this video and subscribe to our channel.